What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So another quick video here on basically how to get Netflix and Plex running on 5.05 without PSN. So, yep, it's happened. I basically asked for this um, in the video I made on YouTube as we got YouTube and Media Player working on 5.05 without PSN. And I was saying hopefully maybe, you know, Netflix or something like that would be good. Uh, I thought that, you know, it would be integrated into PSN quite a bit, so it wouldn't be possible, but apparently not, um, because we have now got Netflix, no PSN version, and Plex, no PSN version as well. So, pretty awesome. I'll put links in the description. Most of these links have been taken down by probably Sony, so that, that is a bit concerning. I'm not going to post the direct links in the description, I'll just link the forum post to where I found it. Um, so... Yeah, so the the links are being taken down, uh, so you might want to make sure you grab them as soon as possible. So anyway, I've got them here, as you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on a USB, as always. So we're going to go ahead and open a USB stick and extract these RAR files with uh, WinRAR or 7-zip or something like that. So we've got Netflix, no PSN version. We're going to copy that to the root of the USB stick. Always copy package files to the root, otherwise you won't be able to install them on the PS4. So then we're going to open up uh, Plex, no PSN version as well, and we'll install this. Now of course, because these are fake package versions, they will only run with the homebrew enabler. So they will be locked uh, when you restart your PS4 until you run the homebrew enabler, and then you'll be able to run them again. So, so once we've got that copied over, we're going to unplug the USB stick from the PC and plug it into the PS4. Okay, and on the PS4, we're going to go to the internet browser and we're going to run the homebrew enabler, which it's doing automatically from the last time I used it. There we go, enabled. So just to kind of show where that is, if you open up your WebKit exploit, if you go to this website here, don't see why it has to cache it every single time, but whatever. Um, if you go to this website up here, or go to 108.61.128.158, it will take you here as well. And then you just want to run hen from uh, the 5.05 section. And again, this should work on 4.05 and 4.55 potentially. Don't know, there might be something that prevents it from working, but... Um, you'll at least be able to get the package files installed and unlocked on 4.05 and 4.55, I believe. So we're going to go to settings. Once we have the homebrew enabler running and we go to debug settings, game, package installer, and we're going to install these package files. So Netflix first. And these are tiny package files, actually. Some of them, I think Netflix is like 33 megabytes, which is ridiculous. Uh, and Plex, we'll go ahead and install this as well. There we go, ready to use. So let's see if this if this works. So let's try Plex first. Do update later. So far so good. Seems to be running. No no issues. Gameplay recording paused because you entered. Oh, that's gonna yeah that's gonna cause a problem. But yeah, as you can see, it is running. So it's gonna probably do the same for Netflix. Um. They, they don't like me recording, obviously. They don't want people recording with a capture card when you're running Netflix in case you record an entire show, you know. Um, so I get that. So, you know, it might enable DHCP or something or not let us run Netflix fully. Or maybe not. But yeah, there you go. It's working. I'm not going to bother signing in, but as you can see, the, it runs. Netflix is clearly running here. So yeah, that's basically it. Another two applications that have uh, got no PSN versions. We also had in a video I made um, probably about a week or so ago, I did a video on YouTube and Media Player as well. So we now have YouTube, Media Player, Netflix, and Plex are all runnable now on uh, a 5.05 PS PS4 without PSN. So no need for a PSN connection. You do still need to be connected to the internet, obviously, to use something like Netflix or YouTube. Um, but yeah, other than that, you can run these now without a PSN 
connection. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. I know it was a very short video. It's more, I made this video mainly just to fill in a gap of not uploading for a few days because I'm working on uh, P, uh, PS4 AIO, the mod tool. Um, I'm currently adding, you know, uh, Modern Warfare Remastered and World War II support into the tool. That's why it's taking a bit longer. Um, but once I have it done, I'll make a video on that probably in a couple of days and I'll release it as well. I'll release the tool with the video. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.